Hi, I'm Elise and welcome to Which Way. Today's Witch Law Review is Akelare. Akelare was released in 2020. It was also released under the English title of Coven of Sisters or Coven and it was directed by Pablo Aguero. It stars Amaya Abasturi as Anna and Alex Brendamore as Judge Rostigu. Set in an unknown village in Basque country in 1609, Anna, her sister Maria and four of their friends are suddenly arrested and interrogated by Judge Rostigu on charges of witchcraft. The judge is convinced of their guilt and obsessed with the witch's sabbath, so Anna must think quickly to save the lives of herself and her friends or burn at the stake. This film was something else. Usually when a film is based off of a real life witch trial, they try and put some truth behind the accusations. Not this one. You can see the manipulation of the judge and the fear, desperation and resilience of the accused. So which witch trial is this film based off? <laughs> Judge Rostigu is a fictional character but is no doubt inspired by the real life Pierre de Rostigu de Lenka, who I'm just going to call de Lenka going forward. He investigated accusations of witchcraft in Labor in 1609 and this led to over 70 people being burned at the stake, three of which were apparently priests. The corruption of morality is so widespread, we've been forced even to execute three parish priests. He wrote of these investigations in his On the Inconstancy of Witches in 1612, in which he can pretty much twist anyone's words into a confession of being a witch. But why do you think that I'm a witch? When did I say that? Who, who said that she was one? Hmm? Did I say so? You said so. He encourages torture as a method to extract confessions from the victims. Part of this torture takes place after shaving the hair from the entire body in search for a witch's mark, which he adapted from Kramer's Malleus Maleficarum. To search for this witch's mark, a pin is inserted into the flesh. When a person no longer cries out in pain, this is apparently a witch's mark, where they were marked by the devil. The surgeon at one point suggests that the witch's mark may be in her eye. This refers to Delenka's statement that all female witches from the arts are normally marked in the left eye. The girls start to get desperate and just like what most of the accused probably did, make up a confession to get the torture to stop. As this is a seaside town, most of the men are away, so they're also trying to stall until backup can arrive. So Anna pulls a Scheherazade and enraptures Rostigu with stories of how she bewitched her friends to take them to her witch's sabbath. She draws on her real life experience of going into the woods with her friends and twists it with Rostigu's earlier prompts to give him what he wants to hear. It was the darkest of nights. And most of these come from Delanka's book. And did she apply what? An ointment. When she goes there alone with the devil, he gives her some ointment. Immediately after rubbing either her skin or her clothes with the ointment, she is lifted up in the air. I had to turn Oneka into a goat. Atsua tells us that well-known witches are seen at the Sabbath. They appear as all kinds of animals, just like those ones seen at fair or a large market of some fine city. I bewitched them by playing a flute. A witch named Ansuperamin would play a flute at the Sabbath, mounted on the devil. And we consumed these hosts that consisted of the black fungus that grows around the bottom of oak trees. Did you celebrate? A black mass. She said that she witnessed some kind of elevation performed with a black host and could not say what it was made of. Describe it to me. Green and with spines all over it. Which comes from the fact that the devil's organ is covered with scales. It was just like that, but a little bit more, a bit more. Oh, mm. it was, it, it was. Oh. 
Instead of keeping silent about this damnable coupling, which makes one blush and cry, they, the witches, recount the dirtiest and most unchaste aspects of it with such liberty and gaiety that they take pride in what they say, and particular pleasure in telling about it. My favourite part is when she is asked to describe Lucifer. He dresses in black. Beard. Light eyes. Describing the man sitting right in front of her, the ones persecuting these people were the true evil of the story. Delanco was so willing to accept all of the confessions, even though they were so inconsistent, hence the inconstancy of witches. He even writes a whole discourse on how one should not be amazed, since there are such large numbers of evil angels, that there are so many magicians, diviners, and sorcerers, and why those of the Labor are so strongly inclined and run so hard towards these abominations. And slams the people, but then goes on to praise the beauty of the women. In the film, due to Rostigu's obsession with the witch's Sabbath, to buy time for her friends, Anna convinces him for them to show him their witch's Sabbath. So they start rehearsing. Listen, that fool wants to see exactly how I bewitch all of you. He'll come for us on the night of the full moon and we'll drive him crazy. <laughs> Again, when they finally put on this Sabbath, we see their wild dancing and Delanka's words come through on screen. The woman, who is bent backwards without her back touching the ground. Akalare is a Basque term, which apparently means a witch's Sabbath. And since Satan apparently presided over the Sabbaths in the form of the goat, Ake is apparently the Basque term for goat, so it can also be translated into Meadow of the Goats or Heath of the Goats. And apparently that's what started this whole thing. Alaya wanted to bring her goat with her into the gathering in the woods. Girls, please listen to me. I want to go to the feast with you. Moral of the story, leave the goat at home. But no, the end of this film really got to me, but I won't spoil it for you. I'll let you draw your own conclusions. This film scores for history, as it's an amazing account of what actually happened when accusations of witchcraft started getting thrown around. There is another film called Akalare from 1984, based on the Basque witch trials, but I cannot find it to watch. But from the clips I have seen, it's pretty much torture porn, so I might give that one a skip. Hard pass. If you want to read Delanka's On the Inconstancy of Witches, it is available for free as an ebook from Google Books, so I'll link that in the comments. It is super repetitive with Delanka continuously trying to prove his point, and he refers to the reader as Monsieur, so up yours, Delanka. I'm reading this book to spread the word of witches. <laughs> if you want to be notified of new content on my channel, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I'm also on socials, so I add additional content there. Please let me know what you thought of this film and any that you want to have reviewed in the future. I am happy to take suggestions. Thank you very much for watching here on Which Way.